Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and exciting content from the football world. One of the most renowned football matches if you are a football fan was just happening yesterday my friends. This was Barcelona versus Manchester United in a packed Spotify Camp Nou Stadium. The only difference being it was not a UEFA Champions League final. It was in the knockout stage of the UEFA Europa League and I felt that this match would certainly decide the future of both clubs in their respective seasons. And this was going to be a mouth-watering clash for so many different reasons. Both teams came into this match with a good vein of form. Barcelona were at the top of the table. They are soaring high under Xavi and Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United have been proving all haters wrong week in and week out. And the main talking point going into this match is the form of Marcus Rashford, how instrumental he has been in terms of Manchester United's goal scoring ability and everybody has been talking about his partnership with Bruno Fernandes. And when I saw the starting lineup, I had no surprise because once again, they started with Wout Weghorst as the traditional number nine. Marcus Rashford was on the left, Jaden Sancho on the right and in the pocket, Bruno Fernandes was playing. And the only miss for United was Christian Eriksen who had just suffered an injury and I still expected a lot from this Manchester United team especially because they have a player like Casemiro who was back for this fixture and he has faced Barcelona so many times during his time at Real Madrid and he knows exactly how to deal with this Barcelona team and under a manager like Xavi Barcelona has been just galvanized and they have understood what is their respective roles and responsibilities. Each player is able to have better decision making with and without the ball and you know the positioning of this team whenever they have possession of the ball is just outstanding and a lot of credit has to go to the way Xavi has structured this team and you know, in the first half, I saw that both teams were looking to, you know, hit each other on the break and I expected United to kind of sit deep in their traditional 4-2-1-3 formation and that would have just meant that Barcelona would enjoy the bulk share of the possession. And that is what happened, my friends. But when they were coming to the final third, Manchester United's defence you know, stood rock solid with Rafael Varane back into the team. I always expected these former Real Madrid players to prove a point against the Catalan Giants. And David De Gea was once again instrumental in goal. The midfield duo of Pedri and Gavi were on the ball, but they were not able to be, you know, good in terms of their decision making in the final third. And you know, Dembele was on the bench, so I expected Rafinha to start and there were moments of brilliance throughout this match, but especially in the first half, it was a stalemate and I just don't understand what happens in these big matches. The second half just comes to life and that is what happened, my friends. And Marcos Alonso, former Chelsea player, scored for Barcelona from a set piece. It was coming, you know, at the right time and just in the initial stages of the second half, the Catalan Giants took the lead. It was very poor marking by Aaron Van Bissaka. He should have been close to Marcos Alonso and he could have tracked his run. That's what I feel with this player. He's kind of vulnerable in, in terms of understanding where to be in a defensive situation. Going forward, yes, he can offer that pace. He is very good in defending 1v1. But when it comes to decision making, when it comes to understanding the play defensively, that is where Aaron Van Bissaka can let you down. And Barcelona took full advantage of that situation, 1-0. And after that, I just don't understand how this Manchester United team finds a way to respond every time. Marcus Rashford from a very, very tight angle 
slots it past mark andre ter stegen who has arguably been the goalkeeper of europe and i expected united's reaction and once again the traditional celebration by marcus rashford it is all about a mental game my friends and that is exactly what a player like marcus rashford can do he has been in the form of his life let's be honest and you know there were moments where manchester united were looking really dangerous on the break and once they scored once it became 1-1 i expected manchester united to accelerate i expected them to you know put that pressure on barcelona in their own defensive third and that is how the second goal for manchester united came it came when there was you know a crowded scenario inside the penalty box and jules kunde could not react fast enough and he puts it into his own back of the net against the run of play many may say but it was 2-1 in favor of manchester united and even after that they had several chances to bury the game and sometimes in these big matches you require that stroke of luck as well and somewhere down the line i feel that manchester united were robbed especially in the second half when marcus rashford was clear on goal and it was an untimed challenge by the defender and the referee just waved it off he did not even look at the monitor i felt that it was clear contact and it could have been a penalty to manchester united however we know that at home barcelona are a really different kettle of fish and that is why they are so strong and formidable at home they have created camp nou as their fortress and even when the catalan giants were 2-1 down i never expected manchester united to have a comfortable last 15 minutes and exactly that's what happened my friends barcelona were putting pressure they were you know having that numerical superiority especially in the attacking third they were pushing men forward and that is how the goal came rafinha puts in a very very dangerous cross which finds its way into the back of the net you know there could have been a slight contact by robert lewandowski but i just felt that that goal was coming because united were under so much pressure and even when it was 2-1 i never felt that they were defensively quite solid and with the kind of pace that barcelona has i always expected them to make a comeback in this match and guess what my friends it is 2-2 and the reverse fixture at old trafford will be really pulsating the most important talking point from this match is that you know gavi is kind of suspended i believe and pedri is suffering an injury so they potentially will be without the duo for the return fixture at old trafford and it would be really interesting to see what you know what kind of lineup does barcelona go with and will xavi start a player like kessie and will frankie de jong be pushed to the midfield which is you know kind of his usual role but under xavi he has been playing as the center back so there are lots of decisions which xavi has to make before the return fixture and i expect manchester united to be dominant at home they would not allow barcelona to enjoy that much possession and that is the reason why i am expecting a really open game it can go either way my friends i don't have any predictions as of now but you know in the balance of play just if you put both teams on paper i would actually prefer barcelona because they are slightly better in terms of quality but you never ever discount manchester united especially when they are playing at home so guys it was a pulsating first leg of the uefa europa league knockout stage barcelona 2 manchester united 2 i would love to know what are your thoughts about this match who were your key standout players and please let me know your predictions going into the second leg of this fixture and if you like this video please do me a favor hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because i will be coming up with lots of content from the world of football so please stay tuned and until next time stay safe and take care